there from Solo. So, Indonesia is huge. Not just by population, but also by the size of it, the sheer size of Indonesia stretched out from the furthest west point to the furthest point east. If you laid it out on a map over the United States, it would stretch far into the Pacific Ocean and all the way out past Florida, way out you know, into the Atlantic Ocean. It's huge. It's made up of like 17,000 islands, hundreds of different ethnicities and cultures and languages. And well, here in Solo, the president of Indonesia is from this town. And so, yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, <laughs> today we're going to talk about Joko Widodo, or also known shortly as Jokowi. And so, yes, join me on this hot and sunny day here in Solo. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go buy a batik shirt. So let's head that way. So the president of Indonesia, a country that has 275 million people, is from this relatively small town of Solo. There's about half a million people that live in the city center. I think about three million people make up the, the surrounding areas and whatnot. But Jokowi himself has a pretty remarkable story as far as, you know, him compared to all the other presidents that have been here in Indonesia. He's the first one that is considered somewhat of a, an outsider outside of the elite class. Uh, he's seen as someone who can relate to the ordinary person. You know, his upbringing is different from anybody else. Uh, he grew up in a riverside shack here in Solo. And he was a owner of a furniture manufacturer here in Solo. And he went from a, a store owner to the mayor of this town, uh, I believe in 2005. He had such a success here in Solo that after that he went to Jakarta and he was able to become the governor of the biggest city in Indonesia, the capital. And then from there, he went on to become the president of the entire country. From humble beginnings, to the president of the fourth largest country in the world by population. And perfect timing because that's the street I wanna go down. So this morning I already got out and uh, I was looking for a, a cafe, someplace that I could get a quick bite, maybe some coffee. And I found this beautiful street. Just by chance. One of the only places open that I could find on Google. And I was just strolling down this little, looks like almost an alley, but it's a, you know, it's a street that goes off into this little neighborhood. But a lot of the buildings back here are, look really old, but still well maintained and in really good shape. It's super clean. And up here, a little bit further, I noticed there are some batik stores. And like there were like three or four places that were selling batik. And so the cafe that I went and had this little cup of coffee. I had a couple, uh, they called them kebabs, but they're more like just kind of burrito wraps. Kind of like tortillas in a way. Apologies. They're praying in there. And there's the mosque right there. Apologies, I didn't know they were in there. I didn't know 
it's 12 o'clock, which means I guess that's the time to, uh, to go pray. Sorry about that. Didn't, didn't know. This is kind of one of the coolest little neighborhoods that I've just kind of wandered onto, kind of wandered into, you know. A lot of times you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but in this area, there's some cool boutique stores, uh, some cafes. Very cool area. So cool. Solo Kota Batik. So I guess this is the Kota just means city or town, and Solo is the name of this place, obviously. Batik is the type of clothing. Uh oh, that looks dangerous. Again, though, I kind of love how they've maintained the uh, this whole street, all the buildings. I wish they did that in more places. You know, like, I kind of always joke around, like, oh, here's the Starbucks, the Dutch colonial Starbucks, you know, and in uh, Samadang and Kotatua and wherever, but heck, if that's what it takes to salvage some of those old buildings, and why not? Right, and so this right here is where I came. Hello. This is where I came to have just some coffee, a quick bite to eat. And it actually looks really cool inside. So it says they're closed on the door, but I told her I'd come back later and uh, buy some batik from her. So hopefully she'll let me in. Hello, Fitri. How are you? Hi. I'm good. I'm I'm Panas. Okay. I'm hot. Hot. Yes. And so this is the place that I had uh, coffee this morning. Super cool building. Still looks like it has the original tile. Uh, I like it. So Fitri was saying this morning that it used to be a home, but over the years it turned it into a coffee shop. Now it's the the shop for the batik. Look at this place. How cool is this? And so you are saying batik comes from Solo and Jogjakarta? Okay. And Jogja? Oh, okay. So the colors are different from Jogjakarta. Yeah. Jogja, more uh, white. Uh huh. And uh, for Solo, more. Uh, Brown. More brown. So this would be considered yeah. solo. Solo, white. solo, and anything with white in it usually is from. Jogja. Okay, so this is Jogja. Okay, and this would be considered. Cotton for the material. No, like well, the the style. Uh, the style. Uh, the pattern is uh, still uh, the classic uh -huh. the solo, and then for the color, modern, modern style. Modern style. Yes. Modern style. Okay. So, she showed me some t-shirts earlier. Where are the t-shirts? Like, so here are the t-shirts, but kind of, kind of this tie-dye. Yes. But this is considered batik? Uh, not batik. Not batik, right? Okay, so this is just like tie-dye. I was uh, interested in a batik shirt. And so, wish you guys could help me choose one. Let me try this one on. Okay, let me try this one on. Ooh. For extra large? Yes. Okay. Oh man, okay, I'll try these. Can I try it on? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Mm, I think this is better. This is better. Yeah. I think 
think so too. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> I agree. I think this looks better. She says this looks better. What do you think? Oh yeah. Ready to go. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Look good? Yes. All right. Got me a new shirt. <laughs> good summer shirt. All right. All right. And so this area in here, you said, is the cafe? Or the, the dining area? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Can we uh, make like a reservation? No, we make reservations yeah. here. It looks like all oh, really old furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the flooring. Yeah. I mean, these places are so cool. And there's tons of them throughout Indonesia. <laughs> wow. Come out here on a cool day, hopefully, and enjoy yourself. What is this? Uh, well, like, uh, yeah. Oh wow, a spear. Yeah. A weapon. It's uh, like a weapon? Yeah. Oh, like a Chris? Uh -huh, Chris. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. All right. All right, let's get out of here. It's hot. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Look how peaceful. This way. Look how peaceful and quiet and clean this street is. I love it. Ooh. I can feel it already. That breeze is just cutting right through this shirt. I like it. it looks like an antique store or something in here. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. Whew. All right, so the area that I'm staying in has a lot of jewelry shops. Also a lot of textile shops and like clothes and whatnot, but there's tons of jewelry stores. And just about every 20 or 30 feet, you have these small little stalls lined up and like this over here. And I asked the front desk at my hotel, you know, what's up with all these small little booths up here? And she said they're buying jewelry and maybe selling jewelry, not really, I don't think they're selling jewelry because they don't have any, but they're basically like mini pawn shops. That's from what I understand. See, all along here, all these umbrellas, kind of the same setup. They all have this little box on their little stand. I've seen a few of them, they have like a scale and what looks like maybe like cleaning utensils, I don't know. But this is my nice hotel, nice and white. But all along here you have jewelry stores, jewelry store. I mean, all along there, there's one that was, must have been the most popular one because it was packed. But I don't know. Anyways. So one thing you'll notice if you come to Indonesia is tons of people here smoke. Young people, old people, it seems like everybody here smokes. And well, when you have ads like that, that say, warriors never quit. And you have this dude that looks like a badass, he's ripped. Yeah, he's like, oh, look at me. You want to be a smoker? You want to be cool? 
that. They have to put the little general warning picture on the bottom with the guy with a hole in his throat. But, you know, don't focus on that. Focus on the rip, dude. It's pretty messed up advertising, if you ask me. Anyways. Alright, I got distracted. I walked by this store that had like five or six hotties inside. Uh, and I think they're selling phone cases, so... Let's go look at some phone cases, shall we? <laughs> I think I need a new one. Chantique in here. Chantique. Why, the, the Chantique store. <laughs> yeah, the Chantique Thank store. You. And you're selling phone cases? Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay, well, let's see here. Do you have iPhone 10? Uh, Ada. Ada. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six pretty girls in here. Yes. The store of pretty girls. Wow. Look at that customer service. Oh, okay. So many, so many. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy. Actually, that's it. <laughs> oh wow, okay, maybe I do need that. Maybe I do need that. How much is this one? Uh, 100. 100 ribu. 100 ribu? Yeah, betul. Ini hard case. Proteksinya bagus. Yeah, yeah. It is bagus, huh? Bagus. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So good. Mm. <laughs> Are they maybe different color? Blue. Yeah. Blue is green. Oh, that's pretty sleek. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold on, make sure this is clean. All the pretty girls. No guys. No guys. <laughs> guys. No guys. All the girls. Kumpul, kumpul. The girls. Over here. <laughs> hey, what about you? <laughs> Oh. Oh, and you too. Oh, and green. Okay. Just smile. Okay. I think it's it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, hati hati. So please subscribe. I make YouTube videos. So subscribe. Okay. Thank you. Nick. Nick. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Already. I got me a good phone case. They suckered me into it. I probably could have bargained my way down to a better price, but how do you say no to that face? And I actually do like it. It's uh, solid. It's sleek. It has one of those hooks on the back. I always wanted one of those, so, all right. And there he is, Jacoby. He kind of resembles Obama a little bit too, doesn't he? Kind of got that big mouth, the big teeth. Hello. Do you like Jacoby? Yeah. Ska? Yeah, it's good? Bagus? It's Jacoby. Jacoby, right? So... Yeah, back here, this is where I was yesterday when I was trying to find my hotel. But Obama and Jacoby kind of have similar stories in a way. Not necessarily their upbringing. Like I was saying earlier, Jacoby was brought up in a very humble, you know, humble upbringing. Grew up in a Riverside shack and kind of came into politics that way through becoming the mayor of Solo and then the governor of Jakarta and then eventually the president of Indonesia. Obama, on the other hand, kind of always had his eyes set on being a politician. He went to the best schools and, you know, their upbringing wasn't exactly the same. But their, I don't know, political ideology, their message was pretty similar. Especially when Obama ran for president uh, the first time in 2008, you know, his, uh, his slogan was hope and change, right? 
He's going to change the status quo. He's going to go into Washington and, you know, shake things up. And in many ways, let's get across here. Let's get across here. In many ways, Jacoby had that same message. People believe because he came from such humble beginnings, he wasn't a man of money, he wasn't from the military, that he would come in and, you know, change the way things were done in Indonesia. So, uh, Jokowi is now in his second term. So we, we have an idea of how he governs and uh, if he was able to follow through on some of his promises. I'll let you guys decide that. That's annoying, but that's kind of cool. They got a tram that goes right through the middle of the city. The Spirit of Java, Solo. Here's another tobacco ad. It says Priya Punya Solera. I had to look up Solera because I don't know what that means, but the translation I think is, men have an appetite. <laughs> Not for cigarettes. Nope. You don't need an appetite for cigarettes. Of course, that was another advertising with a cool looking dude. And, you know, of course, hey, only cool people smoke, right? That's the message they want you to, to hear. Well, we're almost there. We're heading this way. We're going to another monument. Those are some mean looking dudes, aren't they? Jeez. Look at the size of his forearms and those legs. I think I'd be pretty scared too if I were the Dutch. And I came here and I saw those guys. But I'm back here at another war memorial. Number, I don't know, 45 out of hundreds here in Indonesia. They like their war memorials. And they should, they should, they deserve it. But this one commemorates the time in 1948, during the Revolutionary Independence War, when the Dutch, of course, eventually came back, they were able to reclaim many parts of Java. And here in Solo, here in Sudakarta and Yogyakarta, which is right next door, were kind of the last parts of Java that the Dutch were temporarily able to control. And so they came here, the Dutch did in December 1948, they were able to uh, claim the city of Solo, but the, the army just moved to the outside of uh, Solo and kind of continued the guerrilla war efforts under General Su Sudirman. And, uh, and so the next year in 1949, August, uh, I believe August 7th through the 10th, the, the young the Indonesian army were able to reclaim Solo for like four days. And wow, look at those guys. See this one right here, he's got a bamboo spear. Because a lot of the army, they didn't even have weapons. They didn't have rifles. They didn't have proper military, you know, arms. And so a lot of them just had to sharpen up a bamboo spear and go to war, right? And so... Like I was saying, in 1948, December 1948, the Dutch were able to take control of Solo. And it was actually during this time that the Dutch announced that the Republic of Indonesia was defeated, that it no longer existed. And so they believed that they had won. You know, they were, uh, for them at that time, things were looking good. But, you know. They forgot the, the golden rule, you know. You may have won the battle, but you didn't win the war. And so, anyways, this, this monument here in Solo represents the time when they were able to come back the following year in August and take over the city here in this beautiful little park. The Villa Park. Banja, Banjar Sari. I like this bus on the back of it. It has Bob Marley. No woman, no cry. The Bob Marley bus. What's 
like we found ourselves a pretty big Passau. Let's have a walk through. Let's check it out. But I don't think anything's really open right now. No. Hello. I guess maybe everything is downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Let's get some bananas. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, bananas. Brapa. Duapulu Ribu for Duapulu? Yeah. Wow. That's only 20,000 for. We need Duapulu? That's like one, two, three, four, that's like at least ten bananas for a dollar something. Wow. That's a lot of bananas. Makasi. Mera. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's walk to the other end. Hopefully we can get out. Okay. Man, I wish I, uh, I wish you could smell what it smells like in here. Man, there's tons of different spices. Some peppers, garlic, onions, potatoes. Whew. Wow, look at them peppers. Shallots, I think. In one, in one of my last videos, I was like, oh, garlic. And they're like, no, idiot, those are shallots. <laughs> shallots here. Garlic here. I'm sure everybody is admiring my new batik shirt. I'm sure they're thinking, man, that's a good looking American wearing a fatigue shirt. Any up on? Luwak? Luwak. Ah, Luwak. Like Luwak Kopi? Okay. Huh. I've heard of Luwak coffee. It's the most expensive coffee in the world, but. Okay. This looks like a. A traditional market down here, doesn't it? I imagine at 2.20, it's uh, not the busiest it gets, I'm sure. Markets like this, be really busy at like early, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., maybe even earlier than that. If I can find my way out of here. Okay. Should I walk home or get a go jet? That is the question. Yeah, fishing? Ikan? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Ikan, ada? Yeah, ada. Alright, that's the second time. Wow. I think some ants are around here. Got me on the neck. They're laughing at me. Yeah, I felt something kind of pinch or bite me on the neck and I, you know, I smashed it, but it looked like a big ant. And then another one got me. Hello. Hello How are you? Yeah, fine. Wow, she's very cute. Hello. Yeah. Look at that smile. Hello. Uh, touch. Hey. All right. Uh, Jalan Jalan. Jalan Jalan. Think I'll be seeing Yeah. Yeah? Oh, a nice place. <laughs> and I got the river. But up or down? Lima, Lima, five, five, five people. Uh, yeah, nice. Are these your daughters? Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, and you got a dog too. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Oh, that's the second dog I've seen. America. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Namanya. 
What is mochi. it? Mochi. Mochi? Mochi? Like Japanese mochi? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Mochi. Mochi. Okay. I'll be your friend, Mochi. I'll be your And then there's two pugs over here, too. Hey, buddy. Hey. You don't see a whole lot of dogs in Java. You see tons of dogs in Bali. But I believe in the Islamic religion that dogs are considered unclean. And so you don't see a whole lot of dogs in, uh, in Java or Muslim majority areas. Got over here is beating the hell out of something. This is where your air conditioner goes to die. Hello. Ah, excuse me, sir. Yes. Yes. You have video? I'm taking a video. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, video also video. Video. Video for YouTube. YouTube all the to show everyone around the world what life is like here. Huh? Drink. Drink? Drink. Is that water? Oh, water. I don't think Not that's water. water. Not water. Not water. Alcohol? Oh, yes. Yeah? I good. Yes, yeah, good? <laughs> all right, so I found a neighborhood that has dogs and alcohol. I'm not, am I in Indonesia? Indonesia. Yeah? yeah. Is, you're drinking? I'm drinking. Yeah? Okay. Can you smell it? Hold on. What is it? No, 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 Oh, okay, okay. My name is Chiu. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. All righty. All right. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Netherlands. Netherlands. Huh? Where? Huh? Where? 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 America. America. Yes. America. Yeah. <laughs> Texas. Oh, Texas. Texas. Yes. Texas. Yes. yes. Mm. So. Solo city to Prabor. Kaprabor. Kaprabor. Ah. Ah. Solo city. Uh huh. Yeah. Solo city of Java. Ah. Okay. Thank you. Here's my YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Please subscribe. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a good my day. My friend. Hey. Yo. The happiest guy in Solo. Yeah. He's a drunk. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you know, a renovation. Uh, renovation. Like. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, making new? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Toko? Is it a store? Yeah. Ah, okay. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Have okay. a good day. This is a cool little neighborhood, isn't it? You know. I don't know if this is something similar to what Jacoby grew up in, but. You know, I've mentioned a few times in this video that he grew up in a riverside shack. Something like this, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. So I was kind of surprised by that first dog I saw, and then saw another dog, and then, uh, yeah, you see somebody drinking alcohol. You don't see that very often. Not that I'm, for me, yeah, drink up. You know, I drink sometimes. But just the fact that, you know, Indonesia, a lot of people don't drink. Merdeka. All right, let's head back to my hotel. One way or another. Kind of one thing you'll notice if you come to Indonesia are streets like this. Streets that seem like they specialize in one kind of service. This one, tires. 
This entire block is just nothing but stores that sell tires and uh, kind of car mechanic shops and whatnot. But the area that I'm in, seems like every store is a jewelry store. You'll go to another area and it's just a bunch of textiles or, you know, there's an area for phones. Like, why is that? Don't you think it'd be better if they just uh, spread out a little bit and, you know, try not to be right next to your competitor? I don't know. But that seems to be how things are done here in Indonesia. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This has to be pretty new too. Over here it says March for our lives. All the leaders of the of the world holding hands, marching together towards freedom. All about your coat. <laughs> G20, go green. Awesome. That is an awesome painting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. We've already had quite an eventful day. Tonight, I think I'm gonna go eat some street food or you know, go somewhere where there's a lot of good culinary food with uh, D from the lemonade stand. So that'll be a separate video because yeah, this video is already pretty long. So thank you for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're, you're doing well and you're staying safe. His car comes with the sound system. I like it. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.